Take a look at this black cable. This is what California is using right now to build out infrastructure and help secure internet for rural underserved communities. 10,000 miles of what is known as fiber optic cable will be used to bring internet connectivity throughout the state. And you'll probably never see it because it's currently being buried underneath the entire state. So significant steps towards dealing with statewide digital equity. This Thursday, construction began near Poway. State and county officials gathered for the first segment of the $3.6 billion statewide project that Governor Gavin Newsom signed last year, known as the Middle Mile Broadband Network. It's essentially a large pipeline so that then infrastructure providers like Cox can connect that uh, that pipeline to the last mile, which are our residents and businesses. So being able to leverage this state funding, I think will really help us finally close that digital divide. According to recent reports, close to 200,000 homes in San Diego don't have access to high speed, reliable Internet. San Diego's low income urban neighborhoods have long dealt with an uneven distribution and access to Internet known as the digital divide. In San Ysidro, nearly 17 percent of homes do not have fixed Internet and about 16 percent of homes in City Heights face the same issue. Teresa Valenzuela lives in that area and has seen the problems firsthand. I see how the lack of access affects their lives. I'm talking about not being able to access critical services like, for example, being able to apply for Social Security card online, a driver's license, or even to apply for a job. Now that the project has begun, families will still need to wait for the network to be completed to have access to the internet, as well as reduce cost or free broadband internet services for those who are eligible. Also for those that do have access to um, broadband speeds, which is most people in the county, um, there's also the affordable connectivity program from the federal government. You get a $30 subsidy. So at Cox, you get 100 you know, megs of speed, which is um, plenty fast for essentially free, as long as that program is still um, is still funded. So, so far, only 28% of those who are eligible for the federal program have signed up, making it a small percentage compared to other states. If you're looking to check if you are eligible, we have set up a link on our website. Just click on this story. Regina Urita, CBS 8.